Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to use Swipe Gesture Recognizer. And in this video, we're going to be using the UI Swipe Gesture Recognizer. And we're going to be also recording when the user shakes a device. So to get started, let's open up Xcode and we're going to create a new Xcode project. It's going to be a single view application and I'm going to call it Shakes plus Swipes. And then the, we leave the rest the same. I'm going to save my desktop and we're going to go to view controller at Swift and we're going to declare a variable or we're going to create a let called swipe up and we're going to set it equal to UI swipe gesture recognizer and target action. Target's going to be self and action's going to be swipe and we're actually going to put a colon because there's a f entry in that swipe up thing and then we're gonna say swipe up dot direction equals dot up and then self dot view dot add gesture recognizer swipe up we're gonna copy this code and paste it over here and I'm going to change all the swipe ups to swipe right and then it's gonna, this is going to be the same, this is going to be right, this is going to be right, and then this is going to be right. And then we are done with the view did load. Then we're going to create the motion ended function and then we're going to say if event dot subtype equals UI event subtype dot motion shake. Then we're going to print device. We're going to call it device or was shaken. And then we're going to create another function that's called swipe. And we're going to create a, a variable called gesture. It's going to be a UI gesture recognizer swipe gesture recognizer and then we're going to say if let just swipe gesture equals gesture as UI swipe gesture recognizer that means if you can create a variable called swipe gesture if there if gesture is not a UI swipe gesture recognizer, then we're not gonna even call this function. If gesture is a swipe gesture recognizer, then we are gonna call this if statement. So then we're gonna say swipe switch swipe gesture. And we're gonna say say swipe gesture dot direction direction and then we're gonna create case dot up then we're gonna print swipe user swiped up and then break and we gotta put that and then case dot right then print user swiped right
white and then break and then default break and I guess we have to add that in because it doesn't recognize that one you only say put a dot but in other places like here you can put just dot up because it understands what it is and then you can we're gonna go to main app storyboard and actually add a label that says swipe or shake And then put it in the middle and then we are going to give it constraints and no outlet because this is just telling you to swipe or shake then we are going to run let's go over here and I'm going to flip right and it says user swipe right user swiped up and I'm gonna go to hardware shake gesture and it says was shaken that's control command Z so I'll try that I'm gonna keep on shaking and then swipe up swipe up swipe up and you can actually do this on an actual phone if you can upload it now then Xcode 7 you can actually um, you can actually upload code to your devices for free, which is a nice thing because if you, in the previous versions, you needed a developer account to upload Xcode projects onto your code. But in Xcode 7, you, you still have to pay money to release to the App Store, but you can, you can at least upload to your device even with the free Apple ID. And I do have an Apple ID over here. So guys, thank you for watching this video, and I hope you see it in my other videos. Bye!